I've been asked by a channel member, is it possible to make this donut chart in Power BI? Challenge accepted. In the past couple of days, I have tried to do just that, and in the process, I came up with three variations, which I'm about to show you today. So let's head over to Power BI and start working. Of course, the first step is to add the donut chart, which will be the base of our visual. Once we add the visual to the canvas, we need to add two measures. Let's select the visual. The first measure is the total sales. The second measure is one that calculates the difference between the target and the sales. Let's add it to the visual. And as you can see, we have the measure for the sales and the measure that returns the difference to target. So let's format the visual a bit and get rid of the things that we don't need. Select the visual, go to formatting, we will turn off the title, the legend, and the detail labels. Why? Because in a second we are about to make it very clear what it represents. Over here I have another measure that returns the percentage we are below target or above target. Let's add this to the canvas, and this will be a regular card. Let's play a bit with the dimensions, because it needs to fit in the middle of the donut chart. Let's make it ever so slightly smaller. It's in the middle, perfect. Now we need to format this card as well. So we go to the formatting pane, turn off the category label, and you'll see in a minute why we don't need it anymore. Next, go to the callout value, reduce the size of the text to say 20 pixels and make the font bold. Now what's left to do is play a bit with the size of the visual. Perfect, now let's center it. Excellent. One more thing that we could do, let's close this callout value, is to remove the background. So go to size and style, turn off the background. Now it still touches the edges of the donut. Here's how we can fix it. Select the donut chart, go to slices, spacing, and let's increase the inner radius to 75%. Perfect, now we have a donut chart that shows us how we are performing compared to a target. But this is not what I've been asked to do. And for that, we need to think a bit outside the box. And obviously, you know, if you need to do something special like gradient, changing color or background, ideally you want to go to a different program. And an easy way to do it is by using PowerPoint. So let's head over to PowerPoint and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to start making your donut chart look a bit better. Here I have a blank presentation. What you need to do is add a rectangle. First, go to Shape Outline, select No Outline. Then we need to go to Size, and let's make this one 8 centimeters high. Doesn't really matter what height you make, because obviously we will reduce it or increase it based on our need later. And for width, we will go with half a millimeter, 0.05. Now that we have this, we need to copy it and make nine more copies of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. In total, we should have 10. We will use this and rotate them to create the sensation of percentages. Usually, the rotation for a percentage should be 3.6 degrees, so that the 100 rotations will do 360 degrees, the radius of a circle. So, let's select the first copy, let's go to Size and Properties, and let's put in 3.6. Well, we have a problem. As you can see, in PowerPoint, we can only use integers, no decimals when it comes to degrees. So, for that reason, I will go with the first integer one that would represent a fixed percentage. And for that, we will go with 18, which means 5%. So we will use 18 degrees for this one. 
And then we select the next one and we add another 18, make it 36. And for the third one, 54. And then we will have 72. And then we have 90, 108, 126, and then we have 144, and lastly we have 162. Now you'll say, well, it doesn't look quite good. Here's what you need to do. Select all of them, go to Shape Format, Align to the center, and then Align to the middle. And now as you can see, we have the perfect rays. The next thing that I want to do is increase the width for the 10%, 20% and so on. So we will select the first line and then the 10% and 20 and 30 and 40. And we will go to size and instead of half a millimeter, we will use one millimeter. Now those 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on percentage stand out a bit more. Next thing that I want to do is remove the bit in the middle, but keeping the ones for the 0 slash 100, 10, 20 and so on a bit longer than the other one. And here's what you need to do. First, let's select the thicker line. And once they will all be selected, we head over to shape format and then Union. Now let's select the thinner one and repeat the process. Excellent. Merge shapes, union. Now if, if we select one, we can move all the lines in one go. Let's move it back. Now, as I said, we want to remove the part in the middle. Let's add an oval. And if you hold shift, and drag, you will have a perfect circle. Let's center it with our shapes. And let's say this should be the inner circle for the thicker lines. Now we need another circle for the thinner lines. So select this circle, Control C, Control V, center it, and then holding Control and Shift, expand it a bit. Uh, about this. Perfect. Now select the thinner lines. This will select the whole shape. Holding shift, select the bigger circle and then go to merge shapes, subtract. See, the inner part of those lines disappeared. Let's repeat the process for the thicker lines. Select the thicker lines, select the circle, go to merge shapes, Subtract. Perfect. We have something that looks like a clock for it. Now what you need to do is select both shapes. Go to Merge Shapes, Union. Excellent. Now you have one shape. Select it. Right click. Save as picture. And you need to save it as a PNG, Portable Network Graphics. Why? Because in that way you have no background to it. I'll call this option 1. Let's put a space here. Now let's head back to Power BI and I'll show you what you can do with this. Now let's use the shape that we've just created. Go to Insert, Image and select your shape. Let's center it with the visual. And of course, we need to make it smaller. Let's play a bit with the sizes, which reminds me, looking at it, we did not change its color. So what can we do? Let's head back to PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, with the shape selected, go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, and let's choose this red. Perfect. Now let's save it again. Right click, Save as Picture, Option 1, Save, Replace, Perfect. Let's head over to Power BI Desktop. Insert, Image, Option 1. Perfect. Now we need to center it and make sure it fits our donut. 
Let's make it a bit smaller, right about here. And we'll reduce the base as well. Now you see you have the image on top of the donut. Now if we select the donut, we can play with it a bit more and we can go to slices, spacing. We can increase the inner radius to let's say 80 to match the smaller lines. Maybe looking at it 82, perfect. We can change the color so we can say the total sales, we will use green. And for two target, we will use white just as the background. So this would be one option. Not necessarily my favorite, but this is something that you can do. Now this, on the other hand, gave me an idea of doing something that could be a little bit more interesting. Let's head back to PowerPoint and I'll show you exactly how to create the second variation. Now let's duplicate this page. Now for this option, I would like to keep only the space between the lines so that we can create the illusion that we have blocks that get filled by the sales. So for this, there's a little bit more work. First, we need to add a circle that will be slightly smaller than our shape. Here's how we can check. We can create the circle, go to send backward and send to back. Now holding Ctrl and Shift, we can make it ever so slightly smaller. Perfect. Then we need to copy this, paste it, center it, and then we need to make it smaller just enough to cover the inner lines. Now select the first circle, the bigger one, then the second circle, the smaller one, go to Merge Shape, Subtract. This will remove the inner space. Now with the circle selected, select the other shape, Merge Shapes, Subtract. Next thing that we want to do, we want to remove the shape outline. Perfect. But this is just the first part. We have a couple more circles to do. So add another one. We'll change the color of this one to white to be easier to work with. We'll send it to back. Now let's select the circle we cropped before, make it slightly bigger, just enough to fit inside of the white circle. Next, add another circle. This one will be inside. We'll center it. And this will need to be slightly smaller than our shapes. That's about it. Now, select the big circle, select the small circle, go to Merge Shapes, Subtract. Select the white circle, select the shape that we created, Merge Shape, Subtract. Now we can see the background of this presentation, for example. Select the shape and again, remove the outline. Go to Shape Format, Shape Outline, No Outline. Perfect. Now let's save this one as well. Right click, save picture, and this will be option number two. Save it, and let's head back to Power BI Desktop. Now let's copy the donut chart, let's copy the card, and that should be about it. Copy, let's move to a blank page. This is the starting point. Now, of course, we go to Insert, Image, and we select option number two. Now let's center it to our visual. And let's start playing with the size. It will be a bit of a work, but at the end of it, it needs to fit perfectly on top of our donut. Just a bit more. I think if we can select the donut now, go to format, go to slices, and let's add a bit of color to the target so we can see where we are. And I would say it looks about right. Of course, head back to the donut chart. You could change the color to target to, let's say, a red. And there you have it, a different way of showing the same information, which looks a bit more interesting than the first one. But still, it's not what was required. But 
I think I've got that one as well. Let's head back to PowerPoint. Let's duplicate this slide. Now for this option, I will add a circle. Let's enter it to our shape. Let's send it to back and make it ever so slightly smaller. Perfect. Now, you know the drill, we need another circle. Control C, Control V, let's center it. Let's make it smaller, just enough to fit inside of the lines and be uh, just a tad smaller than the long lines. That should do it. Now select the big circle, select the small circle, subtract. Why? Because if this will sit in front of our visual, we need to have that gap that allows us to see the label that we've placed the card. Now with the circle selected, select the other shape holding shift, go to merge shapes, subtract. And again, shape outline, no outline. Now what we need, we need this to be the same color as the background, in our case white, so the shape fill will be white. Let's save this visual as, as well. Save as picture. And this will be option number three. Perfect. Let's head back to Power BI Desktop. Again, go to selection. Let's copy the donut chart and the card. Control C. Let's paste them on the blank page. Perfect. Now we need to go to insert, image, and we will choose option three. And again, we need to center it. Now it's taking shape, but I know the line should be a bit bigger, so we can reduce the size of our picture. Let's go a bit smaller on all sides. Not just about right. This looks about right to me. Now there's one more thing we can do to make it look even better. First of all, let's go to selection, select the card, and then go to formatting, call out value, and instead of the black color, we can press FX, and then we can choose a measure that will return green when we are above target and red when we are below target. So let's select that measure, add it, okay, perfect. See, we are above target green, we are below target red. Now the next thing that we can do, select the donut chart, go to slices. Now if we want to respect the original request, we go to sales, more colors, and this one will be a bright red. And the two target will go to, instead of a bright red, to something darker, something like this. Maybe a little bit lighter. This should do it. Now this is what you can do by using PowerPoint. Now if you work in other programs, like I do in Affinity Photo, you can do something that looks like this, where you have a line for each percentage. And this is a way in which you can highlight if you hit or not the target using a donut chart. But if you want to use the latest Power BI feature when it comes to highlighting, then all you need to do is watch this video right here, where I'll show you exactly how you can highlight certain areas of a scatter plot or a column chart. And if you enjoyed this video and you want early access to my future videos, all you have to do is become a channel member and who knows, maybe I'll do a video for your request. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This is Talian signing off. Until next time, cheerio!